Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making soft and moist banana bread muffins. I know quarantine life has a lot of people making banana bread, but today I'm going to make muffins for breakfast. Here I have three quarters of a cup. This is a packed cup of light brown sugar. I actually like to use dark brown sugar, so if I had dark brown, I'd probably be using that. Now, since I already have my sugar in the bowl, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my peeled bananas. This is around 20 ounces of whole bananas that I peeled. Basically, I mean, I bought these <laughs> and nobody ate them, but if you have regular sized bananas, maybe like medium to large, probably like four to five would do. It's about a pound, a little over a pound of bananas work well, works well with this recipe. So now I'm just gonna go in and mash all of my ripe bananas, kind of mix it with the sugar. You could also just mash the bananas before adding it to your bowl, but it's gonna be all together anyways. Okay, so this is mashed and combined. So now I'm going to add, well, this kind of got a little melted, but you'll want to add one stick of unsalted butter softened. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two large eggs, preferably room temperature, and I'm going to be adding a third cup of Greek yogurt. So basically someone requested this on Instagram. They uh, DM'd me and I gave them the recipe that I normally use, which is actually my sister. So shout out to my sister. And it's for banana bread. But I know um, a lot of us are making banana bread for some reason in quarantine life, which is, it's cool. It's a good way to utilize over ripened bananas. Um, but I thought muffins, they cook a little bit quicker and you know, I don't know. It's easy. You don't have to slice into it. Everybody gets their own muffin. So you could use this for banana bread as well. So I'm going to mix, combine, whisk, cream it together. Okay, so this is combined. I'm going to set it aside really quick. Now I'm going to work on my dry ingredients. Here I have one and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour. To that I'm going to add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I've got one teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm using a fine sea salt. Use what you got. I'm going to give that a mix. And I actually think adding the ground cinnamon to your dry mix disperses it or it combines a lot better than when you add it to a wet, to your wet ingredients. So now I'm going to combine my dry with my wet ingredients. Give it a mix. Just kind of mix it in there. Okay, so this is mixed. I'm gonna go ahead and start just scooping in my batter. By the way, you guys know how I said this is my sister's recipe? Well, it's loosely based on her recipe because I did switch up and change some ingredients and a little bit of you know, ratios, I kind of added more ground cinnamon, um, you know, but for the most part, this is my sister's banana bread recipe. And actually my son, she likes to put walnuts um, or nuts in her banana bread to make a banana nut bread. And she gave me such a great alternative. For those of you that like nuts in your banana nut bread, but you're making it nut free, for example, my son has nut allergies. So we had to switch up a lot of the things and a lot of our recipes that had nuts in it because of that. You could add diced apple. That gives you a, a nice little bite and crunch and kind of replaces the textural, um, the texture of the nut. So that is an idea. You could also use sunflower seeds. Sometimes I'll add sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds in here, but you know, I'm leaving it out today. So I'm going to put this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, basically till the toothpick comes out somewhat clean. It's gonna be a very tender, moist muffin, so you might have some crumb on the toothpick, but you know. All right, into the oven. My muffins are done. 
these actually took right at 22 minutes to bake. So 20, 20, 20 to 23 minutes in a preheated oven at 350 degrees seems to work well with these muffins. Okay, so I placed my muffins on a cooling rack and I did manage to get 18 banana bread muffins. And like I stated earlier, this is a banana bread recipe, so you definitely can bake it in a loaf pan for about 60 to 65 minutes in a loaf pan at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. But I'm going to let these cool for about 15 minutes or so because they are very hot. So I want to show you how tender and soft these banana bread muffins are. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching!